Next up, we're going to talk about different textural techniques that you can do with watercolor. So the first thing that we're going to use is something called liquid frisket. So you can see there, okay, um, liquid frisket, what it looks like in the jar. And what it is, is it's kind of like a liquidy, um, almost like paste that you're going to put on. And you need to use a specific brush for this that's going to be attached to it. Do not use your brushes in your um, set. Because if you look at this brush tip, it's got this a bunch of goop on it. And sometimes you can kind of pull it off. It's almost like rubber. But it essentially ruins the brush. So only use the brushes that are attached to this for the frisket. Okay? And why you use this is wherever you put this down, it's going to stay white. So, for example, I'm just going to quick do like a evergreen tree here. But I'm using this one, Liquid Frisket, at a watercolor that I'm doing at home. Um, I'm doing this. Um, it's a guitar. And I did the strings of the guitar with the frisket. And then what happens is when the frisket dries, um, you can rub it off and the white of the paper stays on. But as this dries, too, you can do a wash over the top and it, like, repels the watercolor so it's pretty cool so we're going to do this first and then come back to this once it's dry to add our wash over the top so you see i'm just kind of painting on the frisket like i said i'm just doing a quick evergreen tree here we'll come back to that and so then we'll do our next textural technique. Um, this one's one of my favorites because I think the effect is really kind of neat. And so do one of your washes that you learned. So, you know, maybe I'm going to do this. Neon green here. And do kind of a turquoise. So I'm doing the variegated wash where I'm kind of blending those two, bringing that turquoise down. And the key to this salt that we're going to do next is making sure you have enough water on this. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So make sure, okay, you have enough water soaked in. And then you're going to take the salt, and I have little containers that say salt on it, and just sprinkle it on. And right now, it doesn't look so cool right now, but when it dries, you flip, flick it off, and you've got this, like, crystally texture to it. Um, it's, like I said, it's one of my favorite ones, so I want to make sure that you experiment with that. But like I said, the key to that is making sure there's enough water on there when you sprinkle the salt on, salt on for that chemical reaction to occur. So the next one, um, we're going to lay down a wash again. So pick one of those washes, whether it's flat, variegated, or graduated. And I'm just pulling it in the clear water all the way down. So I'm doing the graduated wash again. And this next one is called scratching. And scratching, you're going to use the opposite end of the brush handle. So, and when you do this, you have to not do it too soon because if I try to scratch right now, it'll just kind of, the watercolor will just pull back in. But I can't wait, let it dry too much, otherwise it, you won't see that textural technique. So I'm starting to see it a little bit here. So you can see as I scrape, and you can see those lines, I can see it here. And it, it creates kind of a texture. So this is another way to create texture with your watercolor. So you can kind of see, you can see it up here towards the top a little bit better, I think, right here. You can see that texture created. So you're starting to see that texture from using the brush handle. All right. 
Then we're going to lay another wash down in our next one. And it's a similar technique, but using a different tool instead of um, scratching with the brush handle, we're going to scrape with a piece of cardboard. So it's the same kind of technique, just a different tool to do it. So I'll lay down a wash. Oh, let's do purple this time. Try to do that purple nice and even. Do another flat wash. Notice I'm pulling my brush all the way across to even that out. And then I have little pieces of cardboard that you can use. And with the cardboard, all you have to do is take the side and you can kind of scrape away a little bit. And I did it a little bit too soon, so I'm going to wait just a little bit. But you, you can already see a little line. But if I scrape here, okay, and I can scrape this way if I want to. There you can see that better. Okay, I can create thicker lines. Just a different tool than the brush handle to create a different texture. So um, now I think we can go back to our liquid frisket. So that frisket is kind of drying up now. And then we're going to do a wash over the top. So maybe I want kind of a blue wash over here. And I go right over the top of that frisket and you can kind of see how it's already repelling because that paper is going to stay white. Okay, then I'm going to let everything dry. And then what I want to do next is when it dry, like I have a dry one here, you can see that liquid frisket there. And all you have to do is kind of rub back and forth. And it's just kind of peels up. Like I said, it's kind of rubbery. And the white of the paper is left off. So you want to peel that liquid. You can see that. Like it stretches here that frisket up and then you can see the salt one here i'm just gonna flick that off to the side here and you can see that crystally kind of texture that's created with the salt so that's the first textural technique one that i want you to do